Britney Spears wants her dad gone now and has filed explosive new paperwork. Let's break it down. My name is Christopher Melcher. I'm a California attorney, and my passion is about making legal issues easy to understand. There's a hearing set for September 29th on Britney's application to have her dad removed as a conservator over the estate. That's way too long to wait. And I was hoping that her attorney would go in and try and advance the date. And that's exactly now what's being done. Brittany is being damaged by this conservatorship every single day. And the court has the power to act quickly. We saw that with Jody Montgomery, who had concerns over her security. And the court said, sure, let's deal with this immediately. But after Brittany was done speaking on July 14th, the court didn't do anything. So her attorney is asking for this to be done sooner, and he has filed an ex parte application, meaning an emergency request of the court. It's non-appearance, meaning that there's not going to be anyone showing up in court. It'll be decided on the paperwork. And he wants this September 29th hearing date moved to August 23. And the reason why August 23 is that the law says that there has to be 15 days of notice for a hearing like this. And that means August 23 would be the first available date to give that 15 days notice. He's saying that there really is no prejudice to Jamie to have this heard on August 23, but there would be a whole lot of prejudice to Brittany to have to wait that long. What he's referring to is Jody Montgomery's declaration that says Jamie needs to leave and that Jamie's presence as conservator is hurting Brittany, it's not just Jody saying it. It's the so-called medical team that's saying it. That's significant. That's that's a doctor or doctors saying that Jamie is harming Brittany. And court, you need to take that serious. You need to absolutely act on that and not just wait around and do it on September 29th. The other thing that I really like about this is that he is putting Jamie on notice that Jamie could be responsible for all the attorney's fees. Jamie's incurring fees and wanting the estate to pay for it to oppose what Brittany wants. It's against her best interest. So that's improper for him to ask for those fees. He needs to eat those himself. And that's what Mr. Rosengard is putting him on notice here is saying, hey, Jamie, you want to oppose this. You're going to pay your own bill, which is going to be super expensive. And then I would also anticipate that Britney's estate is going to come after Jamie for Rosengart's fees, too, which are going to be enormous. The other thing that he's going after is this Media Matters bill. And we've seen this, and it was really offensive what they're trying to get Britney's estate to pay. Jamie hired a crisis manager. The law firm representing Jamie has a crisis manager that's not an attorney that incurred half a million dollars in attorney's fees to do crisis management, public relations work. Well, why would that be necessary? Well, because Jamie looks awful and he's under attack, rightly so. And so he's trying to rehabilitate his image. Fine, he can do that, but with his own money. But he wants Britney's money to pay for it. And this has been going on for a while. And the court, honestly, if you were paying attention, the moment that you saw him asking for Britney's money to pay for something that benefited solely him and that was actually contrary to Britney, you should have removed him immediately. That's a conflict of interest. It's an improper request. Another thing that we're just learning about is that Britney had asked funding for her vacation. I assume we're talking about the Hawaii trip. Jamie opposed it. That is really surprising. This is her money, her life. She wants to take a vacation and that her dad would be so controlling to say, no, you can't spend that money, but it's okay to spend half a million dollars of her money to rehabilitate his broken image. That is completely obnoxious and improper. And I'm glad that he's being called out for that. Finally, We're seeing an attack on money spent for the former business manager at TriStar. 
what's being alleged as an example of something that Mr. Rosengard said he's found in the brief time that he's been counsel is a gross overpayment of Ms. Spears' former business manager, allowing it to extract exorbitant sums of money from the estate without her consent. That's the allegation that's being made. Mr. Rosengart will have to bring evidence to support that allegation, and he can do so before the hearing. Hey, I hope you're getting value out of these videos. I'm having a ton of fun making them, and I appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time.